Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We might be closer to the end of footies than we are to the beginning, but EA may have just dropped the best content of the entire promo yesterday on this game. I want to show you guys the best grind on the menus right now because it doesn't take that much work and you can make coins and get a lot of SPCs done at the exact same time. So we're going to talk about a lot today. And of course, what's moving on the market with all this great content as well. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up as usual. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's go into yesterday's content because there was a lot. We had five brand new SBCs. We're going to go straight to Foopin to start looking at all of these. And it all starts with, we'll start with the like maybe the least popular, least hyped. Uh, the 84 times 10, just like last week, there's not much else to say here. 84 times 10 SBC refreshed, exact same requirements, exact same pack. Not too much else going on there, except it's just an 84 times 10. Honestly, I would only do that one if you've completed all of your daily 85 times 10s. That was the big content from yesterday. We asked for something better and we got something better. The 85 times 10 only one squad guys the price may be look about the exact same as it was last week but trust me this is so much more craftable so much more easy to get done because it is only one squad and we can do it five times per day now for those that are saying nate an 88 rated squad is too expensive i don't necessarily disagree with you but it's the same price as last week if you take a look at it ninety six thousand coins i think last week's 85 times 10 with the 84 and 86 squad was right around the 90 to 100k range as well so it's almost the same price but what makes it so much better and so much easier is that it is only one squad we actually got it guys i'm a little bit surprised that ea didn't take their time to upgrade this uh over a couple of weeks to get us to this point they just went out and and they did it and they gave it to us now the reason why this is so grindable is with the one squad if you open this 85 times 10 and you get something that you don't really think is that amazing or at least 75 percent of the 10 players that you get can go right back in to the SBC for the next four times that you do it and then completing the rest of the SBC becomes very very affordable right the most expensive 85 times 10 is always the first one and if you're like Nate I can't even do one of those right now here's what I would tell you go into objectives play the draft mode we're going to talk about Nani there's great packs inside of here that you can get they can get you some higher rated fodder to go and get that done there's plenty of ways to acquire fodder right now especially with the best of being in packs but once you get that first 85 times 10 done you're off the ground running you've got 10 cards that are all 85 and above that let's say three quarters of them or maybe the whole pack i opened a couple of these yesterday of my five and the whole entire pack went back in straight away all i did was add one more player most often a team of the week or a team of the season to get that requirement uh successfully done and boom you've got an 85 times 10 done and dusted and ready to go again it's that easy and that's the best part about this one squad versus two squads makes all the difference when you're crafting this sbc and of course it gives you good fodder back in return and it gives you a chance at higher rated players i opened all five of mine almost right away yesterday and i did end up hitting two footies cards they weren't the most expensive but i did hit footies klaus and i hit footies uh park ji sung they were actually in the same 85 times 10. Now I had other ones Then I had a bunch of gold cards and not a lot of high rateds. So I had to use some other special cards to like fill those up, of course. But it's just so much better when you have all those fodder cards that you can put right back in to the SBC. And that's not even the best menu grind out there right now. But that's kind of the most popular SBC for good reason. That's a crazy SBC giving you opportunities to pack the best players that are in packs right now. And if you really wanted to save it, guys, the 85 times 10 that is out right now, it's going to give you incredible potential. Even if you're like, man, I'm going to open maybe like three of these a day and then save two for Friday with batch three coming out, maybe more footies cards, or I don't know what EA is going to do this Friday. This Friday is a real big question mark, at least right now. Uh, but batch three is, of course, hopefully going to be in packs, which could include team of the seasons, which imagine stacking up 85 times 10s all week until team of the seasons are back in packs, that would be absolutely insane. So big W here. It's also going to be available on Friday. This is not expiring before the end of the week. It's expiring uh, on the weekend. So an 85 times 10 with batch three, that's going to be out as well this Friday. If you're going to wait until then and just open them every day, who says no, not me. So that's a really, really big W from the content that was dropped yesterday. But like I said, that wasn't even the biggest menu grind that is out right now one of the SBCs that was dropped yesterday was the daily gold 
upgrade, which gives you an 11 gold players pack, and you don't even have to turn in golds. All you have to turn in are bronze and silver players. Now, this is the 10th one that I have done. I've completed all of my daily gold upgrades per day. Guys, this is the craft that everybody needs to be grinding right now on these menus. And it doesn't even start with that daily gold upgrade. It can if you have stuff in your club already. But it starts with the daily bronze and silver. Back again, we're talking about bronze and silver SPCs. In August, yes, but you should do each of these three, three bronze and three silver, the daily upgrades, get those done. You have probably three bronzes and three silvers in your club that you can do, so nine in total. And then with the bronzes and silvers you get from opening those packs, you put those into the gold upgrade. And from that gold upgrade, this is where it gets really good, right? You get the 11 gold players pack, one rare, 10 non-rares, and those rares, or sorry, those non-rares go into the 80 plus three, or 80 plus times three, pack the footies crafting upgrade and this is the best upgrade pack sbc guys that is available right now in this game in my opinion because not only do you get an 80 plus times three which gives you three players that are all 80 and above instead of just one player from an 81 plus player pick that you get to take home you get to get all three it also gets you progress on the five star five star nani crafting objective crafting objectives are back absolute massive w and even if you're like nate i don't want the nani you want all the packs that are a part of this triple 84 triple 85 85 3 again 84 times 10 at the very end and then who would say no to a five star five star 95 rated fifa legend nani at the very end of this um nobody right so an absolute w craft for now of course you have to do it at least once to get yourself uh the xp which is just a little bit but that sbc is a fat w right whether you have to go and do the daily bronze and the daily silver to get um those bronzes and silvers to turn into the daily gold um or just going straight into the daily gold if you have bronze and silvers already in your club absolutely insane w sbc there and uh the 80 plus times three which i actually have not finished any of yet i've been still crafting up those daily golds i'm gonna open all of those and put the golds into this uh people are gonna get nani done for literally free i mean if you have just a couple of bronze and silver players in your club that is going to literally get you the nani card and all of those upgrade packs along the way for free so that's the best grind on this menu right now it doesn't even take that much time and it's absolutely an insane w for all the packs and the card that you get back now also yesterday that wasn't all we had the rivals bonus as well in objectives which is again just like it was last week you get an 85 times 10 for the end if you're like nate i have no fodder here's another place where you can honestly if you really needed to just rubber band nine games of division rivals it's not win it's play you get some nice packs back from doing this i mean you get literally like 30 something pack players back for opening an 85 10 and 81 11 an 82 10 and an 84 times three so another really good week to place a little bit of rivals or at least to get a few games in to get some extra packs and then as we mentioned the 81 plus player pick guys it's fun to do player picks who says that they don't like player picks not very many people the fact though that this requires rares in august is kind of like ea come on man like that's why i would just say do the footies crafting upgrade over this if you want to do a few 81 plus player picks sure right have at it go for it but the footies crafting upgrade with only non-rares required and getting three cards i love that especially for all those 80 pluses that you can put into other spcs right now right think about um let's see like the 87 plus player pick that's actually going away today you could craft into that that's a low rate the squad requirement right now in this game the batch two player pick is a pretty cheap sbc you could craft it into the tradable team of the week and the tradable team of the season sbc um right now in this game as well which is a big w speaking of actually i have to i have to point this out evidently yesterday in the first couple of hours i don't know if it's still doing it right now but the 85 times 10 was actually taking tots moments cards as a tots like it says team of the week or tots required inside of it but if you put a tots moments um those cards were uh, accepted as well even though it didn't specifically list team of the season moments and uh now let's get on to talking about how this is affecting prices a little bit too because the grind is fully back on the menus for sure but with the 85 times 10 repeatable out with one squad tots prices team of the week prices and as we just mentioned team of the season moments prices all going up team of the seasons yesterday as we looked at on the video they were under 30k like 29 30,000 coins yesterday at the video they were 37 38,000 coins are back down just a little bit now but those prices have really really gone up and same thing with team of the season moments i'm pretty sure tots moments cards people were saying yesterday on the stream were like 13,000 coins and now they are 20k plus as of course 
EA uh, is somehow accepting these um, in the requirements of that 85 times 10. Just be careful if they turn that off today or if something changes with that. These TOTS moments could come crashing back down as they are the most commonly packed card from that team of the season or TOTS moments upgrade. So definitely keep an eye on that. But team of the weeks, once again, these were like, what, 20K? A crazy, crazy low, right, uh, last night. And now they're back up to like 25,000 coins, I believe, and maybe still even rising. I bought a few yesterday at 24, 25K, and they are insta-selling right now. They're about 26,000 coins for informs. Crazy that these are going up as much as they are just because there's so much SBC demand. Guys, this is 100% the best place to be continually trading and investing right now in this game. Of course, like the Juan Mario's I bought in last night's video, I sold those for like 40,000 coins. I bought him at like 30K. A couple of these TOTS cards that I picked up, I sold them all for about 40,000 coins just because they were a little higher rated. They sold for a little bit more and I took the quick flip there. Now I will say this, these cards are still pretty good to trade with. If you get snipes, you can sell for lazies. That is the best place to be making coins right now on this market is the team of the season, team of the week, fodder market. Trading with all these cards, getting on bids, getting on snipes, and listing them up a few K over what they actually sell for is their lowest buy now on the market because they will sell there as so many people are buying them. Same thing with golds. Now, golds are not moving as much. That's why I say that informs and that stuff is the best place to trade right now. But some of these cards, like look at this, 83 rate of Luis Alberto went from 1.5K last night all the way to 2,000 coins, and he's 1,200 right now? Like, that's really cheap. 83 is at like 12, 1,300 coins. I would have to imagine that all these are going to go back to 2K again today with the refresh of SBCs and people getting on the game. And, you know, of course, these were all 2.1 and 2.3 yesterday for this Bremer card. He's 1.5K right now. So I'd imagine that some of these cards would be good to stock once more again ahead of today's Tuesday content, even if it's not that crazy of a day. You guys know all the SBCs that are refreshing are going to bring some demand back to the SBC fodder market. But the gold cards, they're not moving as much. It's the team of the seasons and the team of the weeks that are really moving more. I mean, 85s are pretty low. These guys moved really good on Saturday. If you guys remember, like 85s, 86s had some really big spikes. Uh, but yesterday, they didn't do as great. They only went to about 5,000 coins. It's going to take some other big type of SBC today to move them a lot more. I would say if you're specifically trying to make coins, Team of the Weeks, Team of the Seasons, and Tots Moments are the best place to go right now on this game. Now, also yesterday, with all the good content that we had, some of the footies cards actually dropped in value. You saw two Coutinho's on my transfer list. I traded with a couple of Coutinho's yesterday, and he's back up. He's 240, 250,000 coins. He was down to like 210,000 right at the content drop. A lot of the footies team four cards had a bit of a dip right around that time frame, just because the content was really good and people sold some cards to go out and fund their, you know, SBC uh, purchases, right? You see 235K down to like 215. Now he's back up to about 230 or 240. He has some pretty good fluctuations in there. I think I saw that Lucio was down some. Javi Simons was a card that moved a lot yesterday, but for good reason. Check out his graph, guys. He was down at 120,000 coins at Weekend League Rewards, went up to about 140, dropped right after content, like literally 20, 30 minutes after content. This guy was back down like 120K. And then he went all the way. It says 150. He was actually 170,000 coins. Now, the reasoning for that is EA posted yesterday that Javi Simons had an incorrect weak foot rating and the issue was addressed and they upgraded his card to be five star, five star because now he has the five star skills and the five star weak foot. And uh, yeah, so Javi's Javi Simons card went up a lot yesterday, right around that content drop time frame. And of course, yeah, a five star weak foot upgrade in this guy does look really, really nice. He's now 5'5", five, five, still medium high. I think a lot of people are playing him in the midfield. I think the work rates are still the biggest problem with this item, but he's got to be pretty, pretty awesome in game. I have not packed him yet, but I'm sure he's really amazing, especially if you're running a Bundesliga squad. So that's kind of the issue with the Javi Simons that happened yesterday. But a lot of the other footies team four cards are just similar to their prices that they were earlier. Um, Jonathan Klaus is another one um, that is actually back to like 210K, but he was down as low as 180s, I think, on Snipe, 190. He's back up a little bit. Uh, o Block, you know, Mbappe, right around that 10 million coin range. So not like a crazy amount of movement on your um, footies cards. Di Natale did drop off uh, with some panic selling early in the day yesterday, but some of those middle tier cards like the Coutinho, they had some fluctuations. Alaba continues to move a lot. Just keep an eye on these as we get towards the end of the week. Uh, wow, Alaba, I mean, he's rare, man. If you ever see Alaba at like 630, 620, 630,000 coins, that's a buy because he fluctuates 
all of the time. Those Real Madrid links and just Alaba being Alaba uh, is really, really good to keep an eye on. Now, that's all that happened yesterday. Let's talk about today a little bit. What's happening today, Nate? What do I have excited? What do I have to be excited for about today? Well, first of all, we are probably going to have, well, it's not a probably, we are guaranteed to have another cover star icon SBC. And before we get that, I'm going to open this 87 plus because this is an SBC that's going away today. Or are we going to get something good? Oh, wow. Well, I got all the special cards. I'll take a Matoma. Not bad. But that SBC is going away today. Will it refresh? Last week, I think it did. We've had that 87 plus for two weeks in a row now, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, and I'm, I'm sure they'll replace it with something today. Another reason why low rated fodder could be a watch. But the big SBC that we all know about that's coming today is the Shevchenko. I don't know if did I say Shevchenko or Jabi Alonso at the beginning. I don't remember what I said. Um, but Shevchenko is coming today. We already got Jabi Alonso. Cover star Shevchenko is coming in SBC. Today's August 15th. It's got to be cheap. And EA's been absolutely killing the game with these SBCs, right? The cover star icons, Javi Alonso, Skulls, Rui Costa. I mean, they've been really, really good. The prices have been good. But more importantly, the stats have been amazing. I can only imagine what a Shevchenko is going to look like today. Like we have this 91 Shevchenko as the prime. I'm feeling like high 90s shooting, really good dribbling, mid to high 90s, like mid 90s pace. Hopefully five star, five star. He's three star, four star. If they make him four or five, that'll be a little bit of a downer. I could see that happening just to kind of put your expectations out there. He also has high, high work rates. I would be completely fine with it if they made him high medium. Uh, but of course, icons, you know, they kind of play the way they played. So maybe high, high is the most accurate for Shevchenko. Um, I can't say that. Are all those other cards high, high or are some of them different? Okay, that one's high, high. What about the mid? That's the World Cup, actually. The World Cup is high, high. So I think all of his have the exact same work rates. None of them are changed. Ooh, the mid is high, medium. Hey, EA, do that for the uh, do that for this one. High, medium would be a little bit better, in my opinion. But uh, anyways, Shevchenko SPC, again, the loan is what we have to do to get some XP. That's coming out today 100%. The 87 plus player pick is another thing that we're watching out for today as an SBC that could be dropping. Player SBC, eh, maybe. I think that the Shevchenko will take that place. Um, are there any players that are expiring today in terms of SBCs? Because sometimes when there's one that's expiring, you know, EA likes to replace it. Okay, Chicharito is going away. Now, the only thing with Chicharito is, if I remember correctly, I think he might've been a voting SBC, maybe not. Um, he might have been not a voting SBC, but we do have another vote on EA's Instagram that is active. Which stat do you like to see upgraded for a center mid? And I believe that this SBC, whoever it is, we're, I'm guessing we're going to get passing, right? I'm going to vote. Oh, I can't vote here. I can only vote on mobile. Or maybe it's Dion. I don't know. But um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be passing, guys. Think about it. Center mid, you think passing. And I think that SBC would drop on Wednesday because that's when Podolski dropped. That's when Shakiri dropped. That were the other two votes that at least I remember. I don't remember how Chicharito, honestly, um, if that was a vote or not. It might not have been. But I would expect this to be out on a Wednesday, so probably not today. But that is on EA's Instagram. If you would like to check that out and vote and partake in the voting, still don't understand why they're not voting on those in the game or why we are not. It would be much better if we had the lone versions. We could see the vote in the game. So not sure why they're doing that. But... Uh, that is the case there. Maybe some extra weekend league bonus requirements today. They kind of forgot to do that last week. I really hope they remember uh, to do it this week because last week a lot of people were asking like, Nate, where in the world are our extra weekend league packs and uh, extra requirements? But those did not ever drop. So hopefully they do this week. And the last thing is we're still kind of watching this schedule here. I mean, EA did say that the upcoming deep dives that are listed out here, uh, we have one more that we have not gotten. We've got ultimate team last week. Maybe we're getting clubs today or tomorrow. I just think that every single week that we get closer and closer to FC24, EA is going to try to drop just a little bit of information here or there. Give, keep us involved. Keep us thinking about FC24. Um, and we're going to be doing some FC24 giveaways live today in the Twitch stream as well. So make sure you guys come through. That link is down below in the description. Um, we're going to be doing some giveaways there for the pre-orders, right? Because again, August 22nd, is that pre-order date that you got to pre-order by to get yourself the um, Champions League men's or women's hero pack, kind of like the World Cup hero pack from last year. So who knows if we'll get some more EAFC information today tweeted out by EA. But 
I mean, I'm not expecting that crazy of a day of content. It feels like there's a lot to do right now in this game because of the grind and the craft that was put out yesterday. Of course, some people have already gotten the Nani. Some people are running through draft games right now with rivals giving out extra packs. People are doing that. Champs qualifiers, of course. Got to get those done for the weekend. Maybe just, in fact, save your Champs qualifier games just in case EA do drop something a little bit extra today. But, uh, yeah, keep working the market if you guys are trading. It's a great place to be at the moment because there's so many people buying and selling fodder. And also, if you're grinding the beta, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if they've opened up the forums for that yet or not. I've only played probably, like, 30, 45 minutes. I played my first game on the beta uh, yesterday, and uh, I haven't submitted any feedback yet. But I'm wondering if EA is going to, you know, turn some things up with that as well. They give out a lot of free packs if you're playing that. So if you feel like you're stuck in that, um, in that mode... Don't completely just quit yet because uh, there's probably some more free packs coming as they try to keep people interested because that beta goes until, I believe, the end of the month. So that's all the news in Ultimate Team today. Hopefully EA have something decent for us, but it's going to be another day to grind. I'm going to be doing upgrade packs today on stream, all five of my 85 times 10s. We'll see if we get something good again today and uh, hopefully another chance at packing those big boy footies cards. That's what I'm all about right now, trying to pack the 99 footies cards the older ones from the player picks, or of course the Mbappe, Lucio, Alaba, the great ones that are in packs right now. So if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the count. Catch you guys in the stream today. Peace.